Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial by LarkExchange.com and Adobe Photoshop CS3. My name is Braden. I'm just going to take you through uh, quickly the brushes palette in Adobe Photoshop uh, and how to import a brush pack that you may have downloaded uh, into Photoshop so that you can actually use those brushes. Um, so first go ahead and select your, your brush tool just right over here in your toolbox there. Now head up to the top here where it says brush on uh, your main toolbar. Now you're going to have a little arrow pointing down. Just go ahead and click on that. Click to open the brush preset picker. Uh, so we're going to open that there and you'll see these are just the, the default uh, brushes in Adobe Photoshop. Nothing too exciting. Uh, some fancy ones as you get to the bottom. Some of these actually stock ones I like for, for some painting and sketching in Photoshop. Um, however, nothing nothing too exciting. Some with textures and such, but overall fairly basic. Um, now my previews here might be a little bit bigger than yours. Uh, to change that, um, if you look up at the top here, there's a little circle with an arrow in it. Just go ahead and click on that and you get this big drop down list of a, a lot of different options you can have for your brush palette here. And you'll see here there's text only, small thumbnail, large thumbnail, small list, large list, stroke thumbnail. These are to change the view of your brushes. Now this here gives you a little thumbnail with the stroke. Uh, you may be text only. It just tells you descriptively that it's a hard round brush and it's one pixel. Hard brown, hard round brush. Sorry, with 13 pixels. Um, you can head on over here to a small thumbnail, which is, I believe, that's one of the defaults, uh, and the large thumbnail here. Um, I'm using the large thumbnail for the purpose of this tutorial just to make it a lot easier uh, for you to see on your screen. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here is you can see there's new brush presets. Uh, you can rename the brush, you can delete the brush. Um, these are your different view options. There's a preset manager. Now I'm going to focus on these ones here. Reset brushes, um, that's exactly what I did just a few moments ago before I pushed record. That's just to set them back to the Adobe Photoshop defaults so takes out everything fancy and you're left with the bare bones minimum so I'm gonna go down here uh, to load brushes if you've downloaded a brush pack from lark larkexchange.com or another website this is how you'll access that so you'll be able to use them so go ahead there and click on load brushes I'm just gonna go to my documents head on over to brushes uh, and find the brush that I want to use so let's just say I like uh, this splatter brush pack. Now you'll see when I scroll down here, these splatter brushes have been added to my brush uh, preset selector here with the also with the preview of them. So you can see here if I click on that brush and I create a new blank document. If I take that brush, maybe make it a little bigger, click, there's my new brush right there. So I can add many, many different brush packs so I can one there again, load brushes, maybe I'll open up night lights. A lot of these go out to deviantart.com. Uh, there's many great brushes on there. You might want to check them out for some abstract brushes and such. And there's all my my different brushes. Let me just fill this in with white here just so you can kind of see what's going on there. there. So there are my brushes. Um, you might be wondering how these brushes are created. Um, actually stay tuned for another tutorial. Um, I'll show you how to create brushes, how to save them, how to package them and upload them so that you can share them with other Lark Exchange members, maybe share them with uh, people from different websites, share them all over the web. Um, pretty much whatever you want to do with your brushes you can do with them. Um, so that's how to load a brush back into Adobe Photoshop and how to set up your preset palette. Thanks for watching.